friend, welcome. It is a new week and there are new things to sell on eBay and I'm planning to show you what has sold this week. I don't know yet because it's a new week, but we'll see it as we see it. This week I am heading to a larger town about an hour away from where I live to have a fun little day date with my mom and sister and we are going to thrift and go out for brunch and I'm really excited about it. So I plan to show you what I bought and then also just tell you kind of how I go about my process of putting things in my spreadsheet, taking pictures, and then putting them away in my inventory. So if you're excited, <laughs> give me a like and we'll get started on what sold right now. Well, it's Tuesday and I have four things to send out. I just made a post office run yesterday, but I had a global shipping package. And for some reason, those don't seem to follow my shipping rules of like my, how many day my handling time. That's the word I'm looking for. And I don't know how to change it or if I can change it. If you know, would you let me know in the comments because I'm not, loving having to like rush out and ship stuff. I like to be able to take my time a little bit. But let me show you what's going on. First is this farm hat. It's Pioneer Seed. I Google lensed it. Pioneer Seed actually is pretty near me. I passed a big plant. Actually, it might, maybe it was just a farm that was advertising it. I'm not really sure. Anyway, it's a farm trucker hat. It sold for $13.25 and I made a profit after fees and shipping of $5.24 and that also includes my cost of goods because I got this at the bins for $0.85. Cents. I did like a weird thing at the bins that day where I only did like hats and plushes like half an item and then I did bigger things like this as two items so and then just clothes and stuff I did as one item. Anyway it's weird. I don't know. It made sense in my head. But 85 cents for the hat. This was $3 and 40 cents. This is a Carhartt overalls and they're pretty cool. They're kid sized and I found two of them. I sold one super fast and actually this one, I would say it's pretty fast too. I think it's only been eh, maybe two weeks since I listed it. I do have a video from that bins haul and I'll link it up here if you are interested in seeing it, seeing it, if you haven't yet, it's pretty fun. It's a good one. You should check it out. So I sold the Carhartt overalls for $33.90. My cost of goods again was $3.40. So after fees and shipping, my profit is $17.93. The other pair sold for more. And I really debated on like countering the offer that I got, but it's March and these are like insulated. <laughs> I want to be able to not have to store them all summer long. Know what I mean? The next thing is this cute little hoodie. Look at that with the ears. <laughs> I love when things have ears for little babies. So this is brand new with tags. The, the brand is just Gap, but Gap can be a little bit pricey, especially when you're buying little tiny baby clothes. So this came from my stepmom. It's kind of a weird story how she ended up with baby clothes. But she did, she sent them along with me. They're brand new. Uh, there were four or five different pieces from Gap. This sold for $21.92. Now that is what they paid, like what they bought from me plus their shipping. It does not include taxes. eBay takes care of all of that so I don't have to mess with it. So after shipping and fees and my zero dollar cost of goods, I profited $14.37. So thankful for my stepmom who keeps giving me stuff, which is great. And then the last thing that sold are these shoes. The brand is Fit Flop. And I just heard about these on a YouTube channel. And I usually see them in flip-flop style. And when I say see them, I mean see them on other people's YouTube channels. So I was shocked when I found these. I'd never even really heard of them before, but I found these at my favorite thrift store. I paid a whole dollar for them. They're like satiny, kind of shiny. Look at that bow on that. But they're like a comfort shoe. So I don't know, they're pretty fun. This is what went is going out global shipping. 
So the buyer paid $38.70, $1 cost of goods, so my profit is $23.44 after shipping and fees. All right, so I'm gonna get these packaged up and head to the post office. It's Friday morning, my daughter and I are headed out very soon to the churchyard sale, but I have a few things going out, so I thought I'd share those real fast. First are these Reebok, they are like breast cancer awareness, they're flip flops. I found them at my favorite thrift store for 45, 45 cents, not dollars, 45 cents. The buyer paid 34.55, so after fees and shipping, my profit is $21.16. This is a Lands End cardigan. I've actually sold, I think, like three Lands End cardigans. And I mean, it's, oh, lighting's weird. Sorry about that. It's nothing spectacular. It's a pretty basic cardigan, similar to the one I'm wearing. Uh, just like a, I don't even know if it's cotton. Anyway, I paid 56 cents for it at my favorite thrift store. The buyer paid $18.95, and so my profit is $11.32 after fees and shipping. This sold almost instantly oh, after cute. I listed it. So it is John Deere. That's and what I'm going to buy for Ellie. Okay. And it's like a pink raglan t-shirt. I did find this at the bins for, and I want to, I kind of think my mom found it the day we went to the bins. So I paid $1.70 for it. That was my average cost of goods that day. The buyer paid $21.22. So after fees and shipping, my profit's $12.60. Another cardigan, this one is Loft. This one is much more like flowy. It's like a dusty uh, blue. It's so soft. And then it has That's like this crochet me. edging on it. It's very pretty. I was very sad that it was not my size, but that's okay. I can sell it. This came from the lady at church that she gave me just a bunch of stuff to sell. So I have zero cost of goods. The buyer paid $19.22. So my profit is $11.50 after fees and shipping. This is another shirt from the bins that sold almost instantly. It's Mickey Mouse and it <gasps> has Mickey on the back. That's so it kind of Andrew. makes me wonder if I priced it too low when things sell so fast like that. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to take the profit and be happy. That sold for $17.12. My cost of goods was $1.70 from the bins. So $9.09 .09 is my cost of goods. Another loft item again from the lady at church. And this is like a turtleneck. Again, it's like that kind of dusty blue... I don't know. It's very cute, I think. I had zero cost of goods. The buyer paid $21.67, so my profit is $13.09. I am a little concerned that I'm gonna get, I have two cardigans and two loft pieces, and I'm a little concerned I'm gonna get them confused when I'm shipping. This is a Vera Bradley makeup bag, again, from the lady at church. The profit's kind of low on this one, but my cost of goods was zero. So the buyer paid $11.25 and my profit is $3.20. So, you know, that'll pay for a coffee. This is a pair of Skechers Tone Ups. I bought these in the fall at a yard sale for $3. I'm looking dusty. They've been in my closet for a few months. The buyer paid $24.65 and my profit was $9.98. I'm really trying to hit that at least $10 mark so that I felt it was very close. And these, again, came from the bins in that haul. Um, these were for N for needs work, and I soaked these in OxyClean, and they look so much better. They're not perfect by any means, but I just thought they were really fun. Again, they sold very quickly. I had $3.40 into them. The buyer paid $29.65. My profit is $13.33. Not. Yesterday was a church rummage sale in my town and I got so many things. It was really good. I actually ended up loading a bonus video up. So I will link that up here and you can go check that out. If you haven't seen it yet, it was good. It was real good, real cheap. Like real cheap. <laughs> so I did get to hang out with my mom and my sister this morning and 
we went to two thrift stores and went out for brunch and we just had a really good time together. Let me show you what I got. So the first store was a Franciscan thrift. I think that is a Catholic run charity. I don't know how regional it is, if it's just in my area or everywhere. But the first thing I bought there was this fun little, it's a cooler fanny pack, hip pack. I should have comped this, I didn't. As I'm looking, it was new with tags, but as I'm looking at it, it's from like Target. So, you know, I just was thinking it's the right season. My sister was saying, my sister's 12 years younger than I am and much cooler. So I, she was just saying how cute it was. So I had just listed another hip pack for, I think I listed it for $20, which I thought was amazing. And it was a cooler one too. So that's why I got this. So if you've seen many of my videos, you know I love selling scrub tops. They're super simple. So I did look through their scrubs a little bit and this caught my attention. It was just very different feeling. And I got real excited because Figs is a scrub brand that's like, I don't know that high end is the right word, but just a more expensive brand and it resells from what I can tell for a pretty good amount. And I thought, oh, this is it. I found figs, I'm so excited. It's not figs. I couldn't find, there's no tag. Like, I mean, there's a tag, but there's no label on the tag. So they did have, children are loud. They did have uh, this on there. I Google lens that, nothing came up. I did also notice this metal tag here and that's an infinity sign. So what I ended up doing was there's an RN number. So let's see, hopefully I can show you here. There's an RN number. And what I did was just put that RN number into Google. And what came up was a bunch of random stuff. But then I saw Cherokee Infinity and I was like, ooh, Infinity, that has to be it because I had seen the Infinity symbol here. So what these are is Cherokee Infinity scrub pants. So they're pretty cool. I comped them then on eBay and it looked like the sell through rate was really good. So when I talk about the sell through rate, what I mean is when I search on eBay, so I just searched Cherokee Infinity scrub pants and it was, I don't remember the exact number, but it was about a hundred were listed. But then when I filtered and clicked on sold, there were 300 sold. So these were more expensive than I would like to pay for scrub pants over $3, which I know isn't that big of a deal. But I thought, you know what, if I can sell these for even $20, but I think some of the comps were upwards of 30, if I can sell them quick, then that's a good investment of my $3. So that's what I mean by the sell through rate of how much is listed versus how much is sold. I want the solds to be higher than what is listed. I will tell you most of the things that I pick up, it's not the case. My mom, let me tell you, my mom has an eye. She's good at finding stuff. She knows I like to pick up overalls and little kiddo overalls. So she found these. Uh, Key is the brand, which I believe is like a farm brand, which, you know, we're in the Midwest. <laughs> it's common around here. These are little carpenter overalls and they have snaps on the bottom. I didn't comp them. They're $2. I know that I can, if they don't sell well on eBay, I can put them in the kids consignment sale in my town locally here. And I can still, you know, get five or $6 out of them. That's not ideal. But when I, you know, take a chance on that, on something like that, I don't feel as icky about it. You know, does that make sense? Anyway, then she found Carhartt overalls. I was real excited about these. These were $3, which I'm almost certain I can, uh, can sell these. So 12 months on the little Carhartt overalls. I just noticed this master cloth. I was looking for vintage Oshkosh overalls because I've sold quite a few and if you haven't seen the that video, I'll link that up here. So the last thing I found at that thrift store was actually the first thing I found at the thrift store. It was actually hanging on the window right when we walked in and I was like, it just caught my eye. 
So I have no idea. I did not comp this. I should have comped it, especially considering I paid $8. But these are the shorts and I just thought that pattern was so fun. The floral and then, I don't know, it's just really cute. So little running shorts and they're real thick, like heavy weight. Um, they just feel nice. I, I don't know how else to describe it. I wish you could feel these. How's that? And then it came with a shirt. And it's just a little crop. I mean, it's little. It's an extra small. But it's a cropped shirt, short sleeved, and the brand is Adidas. So I'm hoping, again, I kind of looked to my trendy, very cute sister and said, what do you think about this? And she said, oh yeah you should get that. Hey, I was editing and just doing some research for that piece and oh my goodness. It it looks like it is a collab with Farm Rio and the jackets are real expensive and like resell for like 100 to 200. dollars I found the exact set that I have sold for 45 and then there's none listed like my set so i don't i might list it higher than 45 i don't know we'll see but oh my goodness i had no idea after a brunch we went to a saint vincent de paul i have been to one saint vincent de paul before and it was about an hour in a different direction from my home and that one was so nice i only got two or three pieces from that that place because I was on my way home from the bins and so even paying like three dollars for a shirt felt like a lot but this felt like less it was so much less money than the Franciscan thrift it was just overpriced in there even my mom and sister said so so this was a dollar and it is white I think this might be knit and this might be crochet I'm not real great on my, you know, yarn fabric crafting. This is ribbon running through it. And then it has a little duck and flowers. So it has those on all four sides, the fringe on the side. It is just the sweetest little baby blanket. It has to be handmade. I don't see a stain on it, which for a white baby blanket is unheard of. And there might be a stain that I'll, you know, see when I go to take pictures or whatever, but oh my goodness. So there, the little kid shoes were only a dollar. These are New Balance. Again, I didn't comp them because I know I can sell them at my consignment sale if they don't sell on eBay. So, they're nine and a half, but oh my goodness, are those just cute? I love when baby shoes look like grown-up shoes. I don't know. I just think they're cute. So for a dollar. And then the last thing I bought, and we already have discussed, my husband may end up taking these, but they are cargo shorts. They were just a nicer quality material. I shopped differently this time. For two reasons. Hold on. I'm distracted. This is Duluth trading and it's an extra large. So I just like, there's an extra like zip pocket in there. I just thought they were really nice and they look to be in good condition. So I paid $3 for those. I shopped differently this time because I had just gone to that yard sale, the rubbish sale yesterday and I don't need a thing right now. I need to process and go through what I already bought yesterday. And two, I was with my mom and my sister, so a lot of it was trying to be social, which I'm not always the greatest at, but trying to chat with them and stay with them instead of, you know, digging through like I usually do. So I kind of was just glancing and browsing versus reading every single label like I do often when I'm in a thrift store. So my totals today at the Franciscan Thrift Center, I paid $17.90, no I didn't. I paid $19.21 because that was with tax. And then 
the St. Vincent de Paul, I paid $7.49 for three items. There was actually another item in there that was $2 that I bought for one of my daughters specifically for her. So I paid $5 then roughly for the items that I bought here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my receipts from today and put them into my spreadsheet. I use a spreadsheet from Ginger Marvin, Chris and Kathy. I will link their YouTube channel in the description and it's free. I have enjoyed using it. It gives me some pretty interesting information about my things that I'm selling. So, and gives me a place to keep them. But I did actually add a page, a sheet onto that spreadsheet that I use to keep track of my expenses. So when I go somewhere, I just come in and I put down how much I spent at each place, the date, how much I spent and what I spent it on. So like the other day I had to buy shipping supplies at Dollar Tree. So I put those into my spreadsheet today. I will put the date, uh, where I shopped, inventory as what I am buying and then how much I spent on that. And then I will put each individual item into the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has the first column is where it's located in my inventory system, which we'll talk about in a little bit. The second column is what the item is. So I try to be as descriptive as possible just so, you know, if I have four pairs of brown shorts, I know it's the Duluth Trading Company extra large brown shorts, cargo shorts. Ask me the date I purchased it, where I purchased it, and how much I purchased the item for. So I'm going to put these what six or seven items in my spreadsheet and then I'm going to take some pictures. All of that is inputted in. This is gonna go stored in my office and I have a file folder just for receipts. And then I'm gonna start taking pictures. I use a blanket here because uh, as you can see, Layla likes to lay on the bed and it helps eliminate the dog hair. And then I'm just gonna clean up some of these shoes a little bit. And then I'm just gonna start taking pictures. I like to get as much, there's 12 pictures allowed on eBay and I like to get all 12 if I can. Sometimes that makes it tricky and I have to get a little creative, but I try to take as many detailed pictures as possible. There I just showed you my phone because I just make sure that my camera is set to one to one ratio so that uh, they're square that's better for mobile viewing is what I've learned. just show you a quick setup here there's my phone and my weight weight thing what's it called scale 
uh, light that I took the shade off of, my ring light and tripod, and then those are the clothes I just took a picture of. I always have out my scissors and my measuring tape, and usually my computer to watch a YouTube channel. Today I was watching Thrift Generation. She was in a mentorship group with me in Becky Park's reseller YouTuber course. And if you want more information on that, you can click the link in the description. And that is an affiliate link, just so you know. But I do believe it contains a coupon code for you if that's something that you are interested in. So now I take my pile of stuff and I take it into my office, which is also my closet in my master bedroom. I'll show you. So you can tell it's a hot mess in here. I have just half of the stuff because it uh, takes two arms and I have one on a camera. I'm gonna put this stack of stuff on my desk. This is my receipt file folder that I just kind of shove stuff in as we, as I use them and maybe one day I'll have a little better uh, option for that. This is my calendar that is switched to March. I don't know who did that. I thought it was still in February. So kind of behind me is all my clothes, which I will give myself a little bit of privacy there. But these are all things that I still need to put into my inventory system. And I'll explain that in a minute after I give you a little tour. Back here is some hats and some mugs. These are all coats that I really would like to get rid of. This is all like personal stuff I homeschool. So a lot of it is homeschool supplies. There is a bin of shoes and two other bins underneath here. Let me back up a little bit and give you a little more of an overview. This right here is a bin full of plush. This is a hat that is drying and shoes that are drying that I washed from the sale that I went to yesterday. This is a bin, it says need picks, but it doesn't actually. And this is what I call my death pile box. So if you don't know, a death pile is basically a reseller's pile of stuff that needs to get listed that hasn't been. Oftentimes, it has been hanging around for a while. All this stuff in here just came from my the sale yesterday. So it has not been hanging around for a while. It is just my box that I put things in when I know I need to get things from there to take pictures. So then the rest of my bins here I have lettered and they just contain all my inventory. So on the spreadsheet on the very far left hand side there was a spot where you could put a bin location or some something right here is plush that is poly mailers and that is just an empty box because I had a daughter with a birthday and a grandma sent a present. <laughs> so when I do my shipping and I pull everything out to ship, then I take the stuff that I, is on my desk and I put it in the bins as the spots fill up. Now, I realize that that is probably not the most time economic goal. I'm making up words here. It's not the best use of my time, but it's what I have right now and it's this is the space I have. And so it's working. It's working. Here I have more bins. There's four here. And these are more boxes. This is kind of my shipping station. So, and then I use some of this stuff for um, photographing as well. This is where like my scale lives here and my scissors and my measuring tape live here. There's a pair of shoes that I couldn't fit up here in this hot mess of shoes. This is too deep. So there's another load of shoes behind this first load of shoes. Someone please tell me how to get my shoes to move because, oh boy, I have a lot of them. I also have eight bins that are shallow, so probably half the size, that are under my bed. So all in all, I believe I have 26, I have 26 bins of inventory, as well as some other things shoved in shelves places. So hopefully that explained a little bit of my process and how I go about doing my inventory and my spreadsheet and my photographs, and just kind of the process of bringing things home from the thrift store, 
to selling it. And so once it goes in those bins, they stay in those bins until sometimes a seller asks a question or a buyer asks a question rather, and, or it sells. And then I pull it out and replace it with something else. So if you have any other questions, if I wasn't unclear about something, which is highly likely, please leave me a comment. Ask, feel free to ask questions. I would love to chat with you in the comments. I like to have three or four days worth of items to draft when I do pictures so that I'm not doing pictures every day. It just makes it a little easier for me since I'm not full time, I'm just part time. I just try to do a few things every day. So I am actually going to grab some of my stuff from the yard sale yesterday and get those photographed. And hopefully then tomorrow or just in a second for you, we'll have some more things that have sold and we'll get those shipped out it together. It is now Sunday night <laughs> and I have a few things to ship tomorrow. On Sunday nights, generally I pull all my stuff so that I can ship on Monday. I've switched to doing it Monday afternoons instead of Monday mornings just because I homeschool and getting school done is rather important. So what I have done, let me show you what I've done right now. So I've gone into my eBay seller hub and I have gotten all the information from each of my listings. I have purchased all my QR codes and I will link a video up here showing you how I do my QR codes. And then I like some good old fashioned paper. Oh, that's not very bright, sorry, it's evening. And so I just write down all the information from my seller hub and then I input it into my spreadsheet. And then from my spreadsheet, I see, you know, where I got the item, how much I bought it for, excuse my little ch chicken scratches, but it's usually just for my own purposes only. Over here, I write down where my item is located in my inventory system. And I will show you now what I do to pull all my shipping and at the same time, put all that stuff that I had put on my desk into the my bins in my inventory system. So I start by checking where my bin location is and then looking through each of the stacks to see if I need to grab a bin from that stack of bins. Because if I don't, there's no need for me to be pulling them out. And I just go through rather slowly you can probably see the reflection there on my shirt a little bit. I always have a YouTube video going to keep me company. I get interrupted multiple times, but that is, that's just how it goes. So then I pull down each bin one by one and find the bin I need, pull out the item that is needed to ship, and then fill it with the item that is going to, to go into my inventory system. From there, I go over to my spreadsheet. There's a shelf kind of behind me that I usually put my computer and my notebook, and I put the bin number into my spreadsheet, and that's how I do it. So that took me about 45 minutes, which is, you know, not ideal. If I didn't have to like undo boxes and if I didn't lose things occasionally, it would make it a lot quicker but whatever. Two other things came in uh, in the, it was like two hours in between me saying I was going to do it when I actually did it. So two more orders came in. So now I have 11 items, I think total. Uh, this is an absolutely famous, which I don't know anything about, but oh my goodness, it's super soft. It's like a hoodie and it has a rose kind of floral print on it. And it is 3x which was really why I bought it it is in that alphabet haul from the bins so I did pay a dollar 70 for it the buyer paid 21.57 and after fees shipping and my cost of goods I am profiting ten dollars and twenty cents this thing is pretty cool it is a north face t-shirt and it says keep the earth cool again or make the earth cool again or something like that with that little earth smiley dude with a hat I bought that at my favorite thrift store for 56 cents. The buyer paid $17.40. And so after shipping, fees, and cost of goods, my profit is $9.95.
These are maternity leggings. They're just black. I'm not going to show you. Uh, the brand is Motherhood. I found it again at my favorite thrift store. I paid a dollar for them. I don't mind picking up maternity clothes. One, I have a heart for pregnant mamas. And two, I have a children's consignment sale that I can resell things if they don't sell on eBay. Mm. This did not sell for a whole lot. They're very basic black leggings. They sold for ten dollars and forty no for ninety five cents. Remember that is the cost of the item plus the shipping that the buyer paid. So after fees and shipping, my profit was four dollars and forty seven cents. Now, I only paid a dollar for them, so I quadrupled my money and really in not a long time, a few months. So I'm pleased. <laughs> These are Lands End shorts. They are just socked and kind of like a chambray almost. Yeah, probably I would call it a chambray. And they are a larger size. I bought these at the bins for $1.12. The buyer paid $17.85, and so my profit is $9.77. Another item I got at the bins, but a different trip. And this brand is Horny Toad, which I believe is now called Toad and Company, Toad and Co. But uh, this is very basic little t-shirt. It was kind of a v-neck. I don't know, it was cute, but I just knew Horny Toad was no longer made, so that was why I grabbed those. I paid $1.70. The buyer paid $16.24, so my profit is $6.61. Two Vera Bradley bags going out today. This one is quite large, and actually I'm realizing how big it is. Uh, whoever bought this got like a really good deal because I was thinking it was not that big when I accepted their offer But I got those from a lady at church She did not charge me for them. The buyer paid. Well, okay $38.62. I think I was getting the two purses confused. So that's pretty good So after fees and shipping my profit is $20.88 This is the other beer Bradley bag that is going out. This one is quite lightweight and super cute. I love that print. I, I'm not huge into Vera Bradley, but I think some of the prints are very cute. Again, from the same lady at church and that buyer paid $26.84. So my profit on that is $17.83. So thrilled with that. If you don't know, I like selling hats and I have three hats going out today, which is awesome. This first one is the White House and it says uh, presidential staff on there. I bought this at the bins. My cost of goods was 85 cents. The buyer paid $19.95. So my profit was $11.69. This is Chatham Hills, which is just a golf course. And I also bought this at the bins. I paid $1.12 was my average cost of goods that day. The buyer paid $16.85 and my profit was $8.74. And this one is Dogfish Head Brewery. I think breweries and golf courses, they're just things to kind of look out for. And so I paid $1.12 as well for this one. I must have got those at the same trip. The buyer paid $20.90 for this and my profit is $12.55 after fees and shipping. I, they're easy for me to take pictures of. They're easy for me to store. They don't take up much space at all. I think I have 20 hats crammed into like this much space. And they're easy for me to ship. I bought a bunch of boxes, so I'm happy to use those. And yeah, I just like selling hats. I'm happy to sell them. Even if the profit is only $8, it still is almost eight times my money on that. And I just don't think you can go wrong with hats. That is my opinion. <laughs> I'm not a professional. This is a Nautica leather jacket that I found at the bins. And this was my very first bins trip and I found so, so many coats and so much leather. And I probably paid <laughs> more than I should have because of it. I mean, still my cost of goods on this was a whole $1.58. The buyer paid $25.70. I do have a sale right now going on because I am trying to get rid of my coats. So I have been lowering, slowly lowering the price after over the last month. I think we were at 
30%, maybe 35, and then they offered even lower than that, and I took it because I just don't want to store them all summer long. My profit was $11.90. You know, I think if I had sold this in November, I could have made more money, but I didn't. I sold it in March, and I'm going to be happy with $11.90, almost $12 in profit. I'm just going to be happy with that. I do have two pairs of shoes I'm sending out tomorrow. The first is this born pair and they are not perfect they've got a little thing right there they'll probably clean up but if I find born at my favorite thrift store I will grab it because I know I can get it at a decent price this was exactly where I got these I bought them for a dollar the buyer paid $21.65 so my profit is $8.66 the last pair of shoes were disgusting <laughs> <laughs> these were my daughter's soccer cleats and they got played in and then they got left in the garage and they were gross and one day I handed her like a stick and said clean the dirt off the bottoms of these I ran them through the wash and just now I took a baby wipe and wiped even more mud off of them the bottoms are still gross I listed them and said they are dirty and they need cleaned up I cleaned up a little but I just didn't want to spend a bunch of time on it Maybe that wasn't ideal. Maybe if I had to clean them up, I could have gotten a little more money, but my cost of good was zero. I mean, we bought them at some point, but they've been in the garage for like a year at this point. The buyer paid $20 and 70 cents. So after fees and shipping, my profit is $9 and 60 cents. Well, that is all for me this week. I hope you enjoyed hanging out, seeing what sold and seeing just how I do my processes. If you have any questions about them, please leave me a comment. And if you've enjoyed this video, please leave me a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. I upload a new video every Wednesday and sometimes some bonus ones in between. You can check out another video right here and I will see you soon.